Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Last night, when asked if the Treasurer had spoken to the banks about holding an ASIC inquiry into banks, the Prime Minister said you'd have to ask him. So, can the Treasurer advise the House whether he or his office have spoken with any banks since Labor announced its support for a Royal Commission into the banking and financial services industry, and if so, what was discussed? The Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank the member for his question. As he would know as a former Treasurer, you're constantly in engagement with, with members of the financial and banking industry all the time. It's, it's our job. In fact, the Prime Minister was there and spoke to a gathering uh, for Westpac. And in response to that, Mr Speaker, we have the unadulterated populism of the Leader of the Opposition. The, the Prime Minister Member raised the important issue of banking warning. culture directly with the banks, Mr Speaker, as those on this side of the House do regularly, Mr Speaker. But what we see from those opposite, Mr Speaker, is rank populism. And I'll tell you why. And they may want to take a bit of advice from the member for Lilly, the member for Rankin's old boss, Mr Speaker. When he was, when he was presented by Laurie Oak some years ago, Mr Speaker, with a terms of reference that I previously tabled, a terms of reference for a financial assistance inquiry, which they opposed. Laurie Oakes said, he said, Joe Hockey tomorrow will take to the shadow cap in his terms of reference for his proposed son of Wallace inquiry in the finance industry. Why are you against such an inquiry? And he said, I think the last thing the system needs is another inquiry. That's what Wayne Swan said, the member for Lilly. He said, crass populism doesn't work, Mr Speaker. That's what the member for Lilly said. He said, what works here is method, methodical application, the detail, getting it right, then getting in place so the reform is enduring and long term, Mr. Speaker. So why is it that instead of taking the wise advice the of the on member for Lilly, Mr. Speaker, the leader of the opposition is proposing a royal commission whose terms of reference is a blank sheet of paper, Mr. Speaker? There's no terms of reference. There's nothing more than crass populism, Mr Speaker, and a reckless crass populism, Mr Speaker, seeking to undermine, undermine confidence in the banking and financial system, which is key to jobs and growth in this country. Now, if he actually had a proposal, as the former Shadow Treasurer, who became Treasurer, Mr Speaker, was prepared to put forward a terms of reference in opposition and make the case for a financial assistance inquiry, which we implemented in government, Mr Speaker. If he was prepared to do that, then fair enough. But what he has is complete hot air, appealing to crass populism, Mr Speaker, and he should take the advice of the, of the member for Lilly, where he should take the advice which says crass populism doesn't work. It doesn't work, Mr. Speaker. Quote the member for Lilly.